Hello, what is up everybody? It's the Silver Spartan back with another video. So today I'm going to be talking about a large wheat penny uh, score that I got. So I like wheat pennies for the reason that they have some intrinsic value. Um, collectors like them, but they also have copper value to them. Um, and the main thing that I like is the deal that I was able to get on them today. And I think I'm going to be able to flip these for a nice profit. And I'm going to put that profit into silver. So how this works out is, is I got a bag of wheat pennies containing 2,000 um, and I'll say the price after we go through what I actually got so I sorted all this out it took me approximately one hour um, actually just under an hour which I thought wasn't that bad to go through all of them how it works out was for the 40s and 50s as we can see right here I got approximately 300 of them for the 30s I got approximately 500 for the 20s, I got approximately 600, and again, I also got approximately 600 for the teens. So this was a great bag, mostly just teens and uh, mostly teens and 20s. Believe it or not, they actually contributed to over half of the bag at 1,200 of the 2,000 approximately. So the values that I found on these is for the common dates 40 through 58, most dealers will sell. And this is in my area, what I got from most of the dealers that are around me and from looking at a couple places online. Obviously, you can find different deals, different prices. It also might be different where you are. These are just the approximate prices I found where dealers will sell them at approximately four cents a piece, 10 cents a piece, 17 cents a piece, and 26 cents a piece for bulk amounts. So that would come out to the cost to buy this bag for me would be $12 um, if we did 300 times four cents a piece. Then we'd also get $50 for the 30s $102 for the 20s and $156 for the teens coming out to a grand total of $320 so something kind of cool is with the 30s 20s and teens right here one thing that I found amazing was this roll right here is strictly 1909s so they carry a nice little premium because they are the first year that we pennies were minted um, so this actually commands a little bit of higher premium than even the 26 cents and I was able to get all of the, found all these in this bulk pack that I got. So in total, let's say for these, um, my dealer might sell them at around $2 a piece for the 1909s. Um, so all 40 of them together would come out to approximately $80. So if we add that on, approximately the value of what I got from what it would cost for me to buy it right now would be in the realm of $400. So if I went to sell this right now, I'd say it's reasonably fair to say that I should expect around half of that amount. Obviously, I could do much better if I took my time, went on eBay and stuff like that, and found individual sellers. But just to go and straight bulk sell to another local dealer by me at prices, they probably buy it two cents, maybe three cents, probably around five cents, maybe around eight or nine cents, and then probably around 13 cents is what I'm guessing that I would get on values for me selling these right now. And that comes out to approximately $200 if I also sold, sell these at about a dollar a piece for the 1909s. That would come out to approximately $200. And I was actually able to pick up this 2000 uh, wee penny bag for only $60. So at minimum, I think I should be looking at $140 profit. And it only took an hour of my time. So make sure to always check with your dealers, see if anything new or cool has come in. Because my dealer basically said to me, he was like, um, he had said that since I was a reoccurring customer and stuff, that he would sell to me at three cents a wheat penny. So he buys at two cents a wheat penny. And he thought that they were mainly 40s and 50s because he did take one handful and he got unlucky. <laughs> and he actually got a couple of, well, mostly these and a few of each of these. And I go in there a lot. Obviously, I also work for him and I have a good relationship with him. So he said that he, he would sell to me at a, approximately three cents a piece because then he would get his profit of one cent per penny. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to think about holding on to some of these, possibly. I'm not sure some of the older dates and just sell the bulk, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. What would you do? Would you hold on to older dates and sell more some of the more common dates and get all my money back and actually also have some free older dates and stuff for fun? But anyways, I just thought it'd be a cool thing to share. Um, just as always, I really try and stress this. Try and make great relationships with your dealers because it will work out in the long run. You'll be able to pick up some great things. Um, and yeah, this was just one of those things where just be on the lookout because something great can come by and you could check it out a little bit 
looked through it, I thought that it was a little bit more valuable than the $60 he was asking for me to pay. I picked it up and I think I did pretty well. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe for more videos coming out soon. I'm doing a lot for this January and I'll be doing a lot for this coming year. Um, it really does mean a lot. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out, guys.